like Veggie Tales. Hey guys, welcome to another Veggie Tales episode review episode. And today we are actually going to be looking at um the Snoodles tip. Wait, hold on a second. I said it right, but it's this way back. I swear I get prepared for this or every single time and then yeah, and it backfires. Anyway, it's Noodle's Tale. Um yeah. This is Lawson in Self Worth. And um you know. <laughs> and this is basically uh I know that this is basically like Dr. Seuss's fun okay. Dr. Seuss's uh you know VeggieTales take on Dr. Seuss, anyway. <laughs> this, I do know has two stories, which I'm probably not going to say the other one, just because. And I know it does have an is and like an okay, I should say something is. And just so you know, I have, just so you guys know, for the, for the people, for, for people who are new watching this, I've actually seen all the VeggieTales episodes, it's not a blind reaction. If it was, I would have titled it Blind Reaction in, instead of Reaction. Like I always do, you know. <laughs> so, like. But, it's still a reaction to VeggieTales. Like, a lot of people rarely do. <laughs> you know, like, never make. Anyway, um. I, I'm, I'm probably also gonna do 3 to 1 Penguins after this, too. And maybe the Cartoon Adventures of Larry Boy, since that's technically VeggieTales as well. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not really sure if I'm doing the VeggieTales show. I know for certain I'm not doing the, the Netflix stuff, but whatever. Then the title should not be mentioned on this channel either. Okay, but whatever. <laughs> but whatever, uh. Let's, let's get, let, let's just get into a snow still. And like I always say at the end, at the beginning, uh, at the beginning of every video of, the, of this, um, by accident, <laughs> it's supposed to be before this, uh, now this is kind of a tradition now. Anyway, um, I always say link is in, link to the full reaction is in the description below as well for this one. Anyway, so let's get right into it. Yeah. Welcome, I'm hedging Larry. Oh, That's what it says. I'm waiting for Larry. <laughs> I really missed him. He's been away at Danish immersion camp for the longest time. Remember from the end of Battle Little Joe? Have a nice day. Surprise! Told you it was. Is that it? Yeah, it left. Is what it? Is anybody else going to say surprise? Uh, no, Larry. It, it's just me. Oh. Well, you know, it, it's just that normally. There's a big group of people who pop up and say surprise. Yep. As surprise. You should right. know that, Bob. Everybody else is getting ready for the show. Oh, hey, it's, it's a great one, Larry. You're gonna love it. It's what? Welcome and hedge him, Larry. It's welcome home, Larry, in Danish. You should know that. How's that? You just spent the last three months in Danish immersion yes. camp. Yes. You oh, yeah. well, should. I didn't exactly know go to Danish immersion camp. That. Well, I did. Kinda. I mean, I was there for a day, and then me and this kid Bjorn took a canoe ride out on the lake and got lost. We ended up at another camp. What camp was that? Overdone British Literary Adaptations Camp. Over what? Overdone British Literary Adaptations Camp. But 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 Larry, we were supposed to learn Danish. We were going to do a show about a Danish trucker and then his trusty pet. Larry does kind of do something like that later on. Not in this episode, but like like a decade after this one. After this one was released. Probably not. Maybe he does do something like that. Is that the monkey? No. Maybe I'll remind you guys about that when the episode comes. Here, read this. It's a really good one. I want 
Dr. Moon. might have been cringe for you guys, but I like doing it. <laughs> the next, next night. I was gonna do this. Oh, never mind. So scary if my hand in. Uh, but I'm sorry. It's 11.58. Mr. Sly will be out at any minute. Look, Pool, this may be the last chance we get. Nobody's seen or heard from Dr. Jiggle in two days. No more Mamsy Pamsy pleasantries. When Mamsy Pamsy. Out, we nab him, pure and simple. Got it? That's illegal. Uh, that is a law. Dr. Jiggle. <laughs> well, good evening, gentlemen. It's I like whatever you well, do is a, is not I, illegal. I've been feeling but, a little like, woozy lately. Look, Dr. Like whatever he does is illegal. Like, We're about to watch your but apparently. Dance. Whatever he does is illegal. You, know, you guys know what I mean. I, uh, I, used, I used to scare me. Like, actually, I found bad. I actually was kind of scared about that. Like, is there something in there? Alright, you flashy fiend. What have you done with the doctor? I said, what have you done with Dr. Jiggle? That was rude. What? You should turn it off. <laughs> those eyes. I know those eyes. Ooh, something so familiar. Could it be? Uh, why? <laughs> Yeah, spoiler, I accidentally what, said. <laughs> Why? I will try not to do stuff like that again. Hopefully, the microphone did not well, pick that one dance. up. <laughs> I was afraid people would laugh at me for being so jiggly. So you dressed up like that kooky creature so people would I like it when you, you jiggle, though. And so people would it, like It's satisfying me. sometimes. You gotta so like fun. a guy who can dance and not jiggle. Right? The rush of the wind. The young one feel foolish. Take it from us, said a snoodle name. It's like a, a lot like the Pilgrim's like Progress to do. The young like snoodle story from John Bunyan too. Sagged. Because it's like old snoodle placed in his bag. Because that's like a burden. The old snoodle said. So visions of flying don't go to your head. The you weight know, on his back it, was as heavy as lead. Like a burden. Or so like under the burden the from the picture of progress. Saw, he hobbled along feeling lonely and sore. Till up far ahead on no, a bench near the tower. They're not lonely. No, it's God. That's true. His heart started lifting. The beautiful things. Then he remembered. I've got more than wings. Yep. So quickly, he dug the paints out of his pack and hoped that with art, maybe he'd have the knack. I did it! He yelled to the snoodles in town, then held up his picture as they got Larry the Magnet. small snoodles. Philco. Hung, the old one Reference to, the face to of Phil, Phil Vetcher. Here's what you look like. Here's how I see you. Keep this in your pack and you'll find it will free you from all of the pictures and all of the lies that others made up just to cut down your size. Yeah. And lastly, your wings. You know what they're for. Yeah. But not just to fly, son. I want you to soar. But, sir? Said the snoodle. How can I fly? This picture's so big, I won't get very high. But this picture's special. It's bigger, it's brighter. Carry it close, and I think you'll feel lighter. As soon as he heard it, the snoodle looked down and noticed that he was an inch off the ground. He laughed and he leaped and he flew from the cave, feeling now older and stronger and brave. Psalm 139, 14. 14. 14. 
So, Chester, the kids at school can only see the way you look right now. But God sees you the way you're meant to be. You're stronger, smarter, and braver than you think. And God has given you amazing gifts. You can use your gifts to make the people around you feel better and to do things for God that'll Seems end up on his fridge. There's a little bit of a typo you know there. Oh, oh, it's supposed to say psalm, not psalms. God made you special, no, and he don't loves make the word you very much. Don't make the word yep. plural. And, and he wants you to that, paint. And he wants you to sure. sing. And he wants you to soar. soar. And maybe even dance. Well, say goodnight, Larry. <laughs> Parvel. That's Danish for goodbye. Learned that one before the canoe ride. Okay. Right. Bob's reaction to that was hilarious. So that was a Snoodle's Tale. Probably, I don't know, not like one of the best, I wouldn't say average, but like not one of the best or not one of the worst either. I, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. And I feel like this one would go like straight in the middle of, um, you know, if I were to rank all the episodes of VeggieTales, including the ones that we haven't made, we haven't, we haven't, I haven't reviewed yet. Um, so, yeah, oops. Um, actually, I don't even need these in there. And yeah, definitely like the songs in the first story. I guess I like the first story a little bit better, but I do like that ending in the Snow's Tale when he meets like a. He meets like a god father figure, I think. He has father figure, right? Yeah. Based. Anyway, um. This is probably, uh, yeah, I said like 7 out of 10, 10. probably a uh, 5 out of 10 for the Silly Song, like Silly Song in general, reviewing that, I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't see, it, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't have the, right feel to a normal, to like any other, that any other VeggieTales song would have, you know? You know what I mean? So anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. And, uh, also like the, uh, the lesson of this one. I also like to how it's kind of like a Pilgrim's Progress. Yeah, referencing that, that. I even have the audio CDs right here. I'll flip, turn this around. Yeah. Right next to my VeggieTales CDs, I have an Audio Pilgrim's Progress book. Well, like, of the book, you know? It's really interesting. Although, it does seem to only cover up half of the Pilgrim's Progress. You know, just to the point where he loses the bur burden. And that's pretty much it. Don't back for like, Pilgrim's Progress is a dream from John Bunyan. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I've been talking for too long. See you guys all later, and uh, bye. And also, God made you special, very special, and he loves you very much. Forgot to say that. Bye.